What's going on guys and welcome to another video where today is a bit of an exciting one because yes, you guessed it, I have bought a Mark V GTI. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, run you guys through everything that's wrong with this car and um, see if we can give it a bit of love. So let's go ahead and crack on. So here she is, as you guys can see, it's got the Xenon lights, um, some nice, black wheels and some blue calipers from what it looks like. I literally have not even seen this car that much, guys. Literally got this last night and that was about it. I literally just dumped it on the driveway and I was like, I'm seeing a bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, otherwise, it's not really that bad condition. Um, the old uh, matte black rear bumper there. Obviously got the S3 here as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's have a little gander in it. So it is a DSG. Um, it does sound pretty rough at the minute. I'll try and start it. I've actually just recently got the airbox off because it sounds pretty shit, basically, to say the least. So um, already what I can see from this is all this grease and grime is not really great. I don't know whether this is from somebody overfilling it or spilling the oil which this is not the right cap for this engine either. Oh, that does not look ideal. So yeah, needless to say, she needs a bit of love. This is the cable tied, the plug onto the fuel pump. And what else? It's very dirty and neglected. This looks like a new belt. Got some coolant, which is good. And this ratty thing can get lost. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it sounds like. It sounds pretty rattly. So it looks like it's misfiring or something's not really right here. Um, I've checked the codes. The codes say that it's got and sent, couple of sensors that are gone. No engine light, surprisingly. I mean, it revs all right. Just sounds yeah, just need some fucking love, really. Right, got the special special paddles, standard radio, just the old uh, two peg job. <coughs> yeah, I think the uh, as you can see a bit of the um, roof line has come apart. We've got on the clock, where is it? 113,000 miles. So she's definitely due a bit of love. But as far as I'm aware, everything seems to relatively still work. CD changer in that. Fair enough. So. I actually got this GTI for a thousand pounds. Um, sending a solder scene, obviously, that it does need some work. Came with two keys. But luckily, all of this, I pretty much have anything in, that it might need because if you guys are new to the channel, we actually have had a donor S3 in the past. And we still have the engine. <laughs> so yeah, this is your donor engine that I have, which is absolutely fine. Completely running perfectly fine. So what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna go ahead and swap the, I think this engine mount is gone. It looks fairly worn out. I don't know if that looks bad or if that's meant to look like that. Nah, surely it's not meant to look like that. 
But either way, I've got like three of these ninja mounts in the loft. So, this oil cap is not right. I'm going to take that off. This neck, I'm going to take the neck off. Um, probably take the fuel pump off. Although, to be honest, there's not really any errors with the fuel pump. But I'll probably check the cam follower, make sure that's okay. And I'll change all these because I've got a spare set in the loft as well. And what else? That's not ideal. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the errors are. And I think it's something to do with a speed crank, crank speed sensor. Um, probably the ECU doesn't know what RPM the engine is running at, uh, which I probably might still have on my other engine. But yeah, guys, this is the uh, new little project. I'll do some videos on it on the uh, on the channel. And this is obviously the S3, which is running perfectly fine. <laughs> As always, not as always, this thing is always, it's always uh, giving me a bit of a ball out, but uh, it seems that we may have cracked it. So yeah, the S3 is running perfectly fine. Um, I've gone ahead and contacted the tuners today to see if I can get it on the dyno again, just so we can finally have this thing running to its full potential and hopefully we can make some good power out of this thing because it's got literally everything and more, um, so it should be capable. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Bit of an update, bit of a. I just sort of want to just keep you guys in the loop more often um, because this is just the type of shit that I probably just crack on with and not record it. So I just want to try and get this on camera. But yeah, guys, as far as I'm aware, it's fairly decent. You know, it's good old golf normal things where just see that's come loose as well and the buttons are worn out but the seats look all right the fronts have got covers on which is nice to see i think these should be going down a bit yeah they need to go down they're way too high but uh yeah let's see if the boot works the boot does work got some snazzy sticker Stick a work on there. Um, 3M. Not really much goodies in here. Not just the old reliable, trusty spare. At least the boot struts will work. Uh, oh, I don't know. They're not ideal, but yeah. Cool little car. This has got electric seats. Um, I'll show you guys. So, it's actually got a button here. I've never actually had full electric seats before. So, that would be pretty cool. Hood open. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to this because i got to go for a meal now but like i said guys i'm gonna crack on with all this in the next video um i'm not really too sure what this cable tire is all about i'm guessing the clip snapped for the plug that's very nice but yeah guys go ahead and comment down below what you think of this little thing and considering the condition it runs it drives um, it is automatic, but for a thousand pounds, I don't really think I can complain that much. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.